Train your cat to use the toilet. Step-by-step -step guide. Imagine a world where your cat politely pees into a toilet. A world where you don't have to scoop litter twice a day. No more cluttering your living room with a clunky litter box. It almost sounds like a dream, right? Sure, a toilet train kitty might seem like something you could only dream of, but the reality is you really can teach your cat to use the potty, and it's not as hard as you think. Toilet training for cats became common in the early 2010s when products like Litter Quitter hit the markets promising that your cat will be toilet trained within a matter of six weeks. Joe Lappage created the Litter Quitter after she grew tired of cleaning up her cat's litter. The potty training system is so effective that Lappage claims it takes less time to toilet train a cat than a child, so you can say goodbye to that smelly kitty litter box forever and make your life a lot easier. But for those of you who are clueless about how it all works, curious if it could even work for your cat? Here's a foolproof step-by-step -step process to get your cat reigning on the porcelain throne. Number 1. Designate a bathroom for your cat If you've decided to teach your cat how to use the toilet, you must assign a bathroom where the kitty can take care of its business. This is very important since cats are very cautious animals and they absolutely refuse to use the toilet unless they feel safe and calm. Choose a bathroom in your home that your cat has the easiest access to where no one else will interrupt it. Move the cat's litter box into the bathroom and place it near the toilet. Keep the lid up and seat down at all times and watch the magic happen. Number 2. Gather the supplies To toilet train your cat, you're gonna need some pretty serious supplies. Your cat will be transitioning from its regular litter box to a training seat and eventually to the toilet. There are two routes you can take here. You can either take the easy road and buy a cat toilet training kit like the Litter Quitter or the City Kitty Cat Toilet Training Kit. The other option is to create a training tray yourself. You will need duct tape, a plastic liner or kitchen plastic wrap, and an aluminum roasting pan of an appropriate size. If you're brave enough to create your own training tray, the process is fairly simple. And here's a pro tip. You should ideally know how to create a training tray before transitioning from the litter box to the toilet. To create the training tray, simply place the aluminum roasting pan over the toilet's rim, secure in place with duct tape. If the tray is not big enough to fully encompass the toilet bowl, fill any gaps with plastic wrap. Okay, now that you've done that, it's time to actually start training your cat. Make sure to not pressure your cat into sitting on the toilet. Let the kitty move at its own pace and keep encouraging it with positive affirmations and cat treats. Number 3. Raise the litter box to the toilet gradually In order to help your cat transition from its litter box to the toilet, you need to raise the litter box up to the toilet seat in small increments each week. Eventually, your cat will learn to jump onto the toilet seat when it has to make room for lunch. It's actually just going to turn into a fun game. You can use stacks of newspaper, cardboard, or old magazines to raise the litter box by 3 inches each day until it's on the level of the toilet seat. Once the litter box is on the level with the toilet seat and you're sure your cat will jump up to the toilet, it's time for the fourth step. Number 4. Place the litter box on top of the toilet seat Now it's time for big changes. Place the litter box on top of the toilet seat. Leave it there for a few days. This is about how long it will take for your cat to be comfortable eliminating on the toilet. Remember to keep encouraging your cat by rewarding it. This will motivate your cat to keep moving on to the next steps. Number 5. Replace the litter box with a training seat Once your cat is comfortable with using the litter box without any accidents, it's time to bring out your training seat. Secure the training seat onto the toilet and fill it with flushable litter so you don't have to scoop cat poop and litter out of your toilet. If you're using a potty training set, use the smallest training pan or the training pan with no hole in it. If you're using an aluminum tray, simply put the tray in place and fill it with flushable litter. Do not cut any holes into the tray yet. Number 6. Gradually increase the size of the hole. Give your cat a few days to get used to defecating in the first training tray. Once it does so confidently and accident-free, it's time to start making the transition. 
If you're using a training set, gradually transition into seats with bigger holes. Training seats will have small holes in them that get larger as your cat moves through its training. If you're using an aluminum training pan, use a screwdriver or a cutter to cut a hole in the bottom of the pan. Make the hole slightly bigger gradually as your cat gets comfortable. Also, keep decreasing the amount of litter you're using as well. Each time your cat uses the pan, replace the litter with a slightly smaller amount than before. Number 7. Remove Training Seat Once your cat is comfortable with the larger holes, it's time to remove the training seat completely. By this time, your cat should be comfortable doing its business straight into the toilet. Some smart kitties may even learn how to flush, but don't forget that they sometimes enjoy it a little too much, so remember to keep an eye out for your cat so it doesn't go around wasting too much water. That's all for today's video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Until next time, bye!